we get that question all the time. Like, how do you, how do couples thrive in business? What do you feel like have been challenging when it comes to personality types mm-hmm. in regards to like how you can actually be successful as a couple when you're two significantly different people? So we've we've discussed it and we've we've narrowed down that I'm a visionary and she's detail oriented. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I can I can speak a big vision, but before and I be want to take immediate action. She's like, baby, slow down. Mm-hmm. Here are the details that have to go into place first before that big vision takes place. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, damn them details. <laughs> I need the big vision. My dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, but but we need, you need both. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Everybody has to operate in their field of expertise. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Her spirit is super strong when it comes to just just developing those things like i don't even be thinking about certain things she thinks about yeah mm-hmm. and so those things has to happen and then when you say dealing with personalities like even when we were dealing with people mm-hmm. i would give advice on something and literally she'll hear me on the phone and be like ah, baby i would have said that a little bit different mm-hmm. and so i'd be like what do you mean she was like velvet hammer this thing sandwich method this person mm. mm-hmm. because you just pretty much told this person down <laughs> right. like bro right. what you mean you don't you don't feel like doing a call right, like, right, right. are you broke still <laughs> like she be, she be like why don't you sandwich that why don't you compliment this person first mm-hmm. then give the corrective advice yeah. and then go ahead and just butter them up at the end and i'm <laughs> like Bro, you know what? You got a lot of drive. <laughs> but right now, I ain't even experiencing it. And I know you can do better. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sandwich, man. And so I'll be like, all right, bet, baby, I'll do that. You but, know what I'm saying? She she cultivated that part. And on, even in cultivating that, seeing D kind of go and mm-hmm. have that excitement, I truthfully, being the detail-oriented partner, mm-hmm. it is very difficult. Mm-hmm. When you have a partner that Preach. has a huge okay? vision yeah. <laughs> and they go 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 it's hard to keep up with the demand of what they want to see come to pass yeah and it is those things like he said i'm listening on the call i don't necessarily want to hear the call hmm. however i'm here and because of who i am i'm listening yeah yeah, yeah. and i don't even want to critique but because i'm your wife i gotta say something mm-hmm and so it's just a it's a responsibility that I had to learn over the years that I know it's probably going to be a little odd after we talk. However, somebody has to do it. Mm-hmm. And for a long time, before we could finally got on the flow in business, that made me feel very frustrated. Hmm. Okay. It made me feel very frustrated because I'm like, I keep having to do the hard, boring stuff. I keep having to seem like the naggy, picky person. Yeah, the mm-hmm. pessimistic. The bad parent. And I hate it, like, because that's not how I feel. But yeah. every time I have to talk, that's what I have to say. Yeah. So that was difficult. But we finally got into a place where I was like, can I say this? And then it'll yeah. be like, yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did y'all get to that point, though, of we went can through I a, say this? Like, that we went through. We went through multiple times. Before we got to that place, we went through – uh these spells all right you know what you just do everything i ain't gonna do sh- nothing yep. you know what i'm saying okay, I ain't you nothing. Can bet i ain't gonna do shit yeah yeah, yeah yeah you know what i'm saying you know what i'm just gonna chill and i'm like all right bet whatever I, i'm gonna run and do this shit myself and so that happened but then being frustrated you know what i'm saying because she would literally be listening paying attention to when i'm training or when i'm doing something mm-hmm. and yep. then giving me corrective Chris points and yeah. i'll be like you supposed to not be over there not doing shit. and i'm Why like this is a home-based business <laughs> i can't leave you're here yeah. no, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right, the right. Time. like i can hear you you in the closet i can hear you talking you upstairs she moved my whole desk in the closet hear you. like everywhere <laughs> i try to go in the house to get away from being in on your conversation you're here i'm still on it. <laughs> right so, so I, I can't not be in it. Like, I'm trying. It's just not working. Yeah. And so she, from that point, she literally started, you know, versus being, uh, I'm not going to do anything. She still would give her sound bites and her corrective points. And I would be like, you know what? That makes sense. You know, sometimes you just got to take your ego and be like, you know what? I would rather have the results that I desire versus, versus have this ego and be in a place where you don't matter or treat my partner like your your opinion don't matter. Mm-hmm. And so even in my small tweaks, I would use what she said mm-hmm. and then be like, you know what? I thank God for my wife. 
You know what I'm saying? And I'll give her kudos publicly as well when yeah. it comes to that because that is important. You know, she's words of affirmation like a mug. So I'm like, yo, let me go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, give her flowers, not only privately but publicly as well. No, that's right. I think that's important in any relationship, you know, while we're here. Right. We appreciate y'all a lot. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, no, because, I mean, I I remember, like, one of the first conversations that we had as a collective was being able to talk about, um, you know, financially, as we are ascending, what would you tell us that you did wrong to not do? And to be able to have people in your life that will give you true, why, one, these are by far the wisest people. I mean, they're young, but... I mean, the knowledge is crazy. And, you know, to be able to have that, we always talk about community and to be able to know that I can call them and they're not going to give me what they know I want to hear, especially Kiana and you too. We're going to call y'all and know that we're going to tell you the whole truth. One, to be, it's, it's having the ability and the trust in somebody to know that I can be vulnerable and tell you the whole story versus the part I know I want to tell you the part mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like don't need to be talked about but give you the full everything and know that we're going to get wise counsel and it's going to whether it's favorable to what we want or not and I think that's huge and you know um it, it's yep. it's it's important to us that we do have this relationship because you know we value y'all opinion um not just from a success standpoint but a marriage standpoint we didn't even say that y'all been married for 12 years yeah um and you don't the people one people don't stay married that long that's right a fact. that's a it's fact um especially at our age i think right. we are in a space right now as millennials where marriage is becoming more like home based a lot more people are staying married longer we are shifting um you know a lot of statistics because our kids are growing up in two parent households even mm -hmm. if sometimes you know you don't know if it's going to stay that way but more children are growing up with millennial parents that are two family households millennials are staying married longer we're getting married at all um and so you know i think it's just important to say that we appreciate y'all we love y'all and you know i am really grateful for you know falling in love with you all from the state from my seat and believing that i could win as a couple we will win yes, we, we will win, win. <laughs> you know what i'm saying but seriously because i feel like i feel like in, in relationships especially when you spend a lot of time with people or you talk often you don't say this kind of stuff of like yo i appreciate y'all you know what i'm saying i, I love y'all um not because i'm leaving but because you need to know that our relationship has holds weight it holds value and it is significant in my life our lives, our son's yeah. life. I Absolutely. mean, they out there having she a grand time. She know my love language. That yeah, girl, is. you better love on me. <laughs> if you like this clip, don't forget to write a review, like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>